Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another Phantom Price Prediction update which at the time of this recording is holding above the 20 day MA here on the 1 hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up. We have also continued to obey the ADHF structures where you can see that we have been seeing a bit of a breakdown to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 of this ADHF structure right here in blue. And at the time of this recording, we have almost fully maximized our minimum retracement area in the formation of this wave 2. And all this is playing out after we fully peaked in the formation of that first wave in a move that gave us a high at around the 0 0.53 to $6 mark. And before I get further into the technical analysis, to give you my breakdown targets here on the phantom chart and also give you my next targets here on the phantom chart, first give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership. And since we have picked in the formation of that first wave using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1, that gave me a minimum retracement area in the formation of this wave 2 between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.78 which is a target area that lies between the 0 0.4198 dollar mark and the 0 0.3539 dollar mark which is the area highlighted here on the chart using this red target area and it is within this red target area down here that I'm expecting to see the low for this second wave to the lower side and because of the corrective nature in the formation of this wave 2 I'm also expecting to see an ABC corrective structure also play out where you can see that I have this ABC corrective structure in yellow having that as the wave A. Then I will be giving us a peak at around the $0.5473 mark. And now my primary scenario and my most ideal situation here is that we are going to see one more leg down in the formation of this wave C to fully maximize our minimum target area. And I was expecting this to happen yesterday after the FOMC meeting but you can see that after the FOMC meeting we had a bit of a bullish movement to the upper side in a move that has now given us a peak at around the $0.447 mark. But we still need to have in mind that there are chances that we might see one more leg down in the formation of this UFC to fully maximize our target area in the formation of this wave 2 and once that is done then from there we can start expecting higher prices in the formation of that wave 3 and also be able to sketch out target areas to the upside in the formation of that wave 3. So that is what I'm expecting here on the phantom chart on the short term scenarios and we need to keep our eyes on the low that we made in this ABC corrective structure for the wave A at around the $0.3958 mark because in case further breakdown continues here on the phantom chart that will be the first target and the moment we lose that target then that will help us put in place the law for that ABC corrective structure and also the law for that second wave and also giving you the long term expectations here on the phantom chart basing it on this ADHF structure that I have right here in yellow where you can see that we bottomed out in the formation of this larger ADHF count 2 within this yellow target area and all these played out after we fully picked in the formation of a larger ADHF count 1 in a move that gave us a high at around the $0.65 mark and having seen the formation of that first wave and a corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2 now my primary scenario is that phantom on the long term scenarios is in the formation of this larger ADHF wave count 3 and because of the impulsive nature in the formation of this wave 3 I'm also expecting to see a 5 wave structure in formation having the wave 5 fully maximizing our target areas in the formation of that wave 3 and as a result of that micro ADHF wave count within the formation of that wave 3 that's why I have this ADHF structure right here in blue which is the ADHF structure that has just given me the short term scenarios where I'm expecting one more leg down in the formation of this wave 2 before we can see that a run up to the upside in the formation of that wave 3. 
So that is what I'm expecting here on the phantom chart, on the short term scenarios, and also on the long term scenarios. And let's be patient and see how that plays out. And I'll be keeping you updated.